Greg, you know, we're fortunate here at this program to have talked to a ton of uh, expert analysts and heard a ton of expert analysis, and I would absolutely group you in that. You clearly led the league in the most lukewarm recommendation for two or Tungo Vailoa by far. <laughs> by far. Uh, and when it all came down to it, the Dolphins looked at it, and I'm sure they were smoke screening like crazy or were attempting to trade up for Burrow and clearly was not able to do it. Stood pat, didn't make a trade, and got to a after all. What do you think about that pick, Greg? Well, it's funny, Rich, that you say that. And then, you know, <laughs> and when you do as much radio and podcasts as I do, yes. I always try to be careful with how I say things. And it's funny you use the word lukewarm. Yes. I, I, I like to attack a Vailoa, but I think he's a certain kind of quarterback. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I've made the point numerous times that almost all quarterbacks – are system quarterbacks. That's not a negative pejorative term. There's very few quarterbacks who are scheme transcendent. One could easily make the argument, and it's true, that Drew Brees is a system quarterback, and he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, as he should be. So it's not that I'm lukewarm on Tua. I did not see him as transcendent. I saw him as a very efficient system quarterback. And if he's used that way, which is the way I believe he should be used, uh, with other factors such as a run game, the RPO game, quality receivers, uh, then I believe he can be very, very effective. I just did not view his talent as transcendent. Why? You're the, honestly, you're one of the only few to do that. That's why I used lukewarm, by the way, in terms of that. Because I, I know you um, didn't kill the kid. You didn't kill the kid, and you don't do that sort of stuff. No, you just give I, your I mean, evaluation. I, I and, think and, what I just said is not killing Tua. No. I think I'm kind of talking from a football perspective. Um, I did not view him as having the same level of talent as as Joe Burrow overall. Um, I think both of them have don't have particularly great arms. Um you know, Tua is not a power thrower. I think Tua is a rhythm thrower. I think he's very accurate in the short to intermediate pass game. I think he's a, when the timing is there and he hits that back foot and the ball comes out, he's really, really good. And that, that's the way coaches coach anyway. No, no coach says, hey, he rolls the ball out and say, let's run around and make plays today. That's the way the game is coached. Um, I think he's very rhythmic. Uh, And I think that, you know, he's got a few issues that need to be cleaned up. He has a strong tendency to climb the pocket when there's no pressure, and he moves himself into pressure. He creates his own pressure. And I'm curious to see how that plays out in the league because he's six feet tall. Uh, So there are some things he needs to clean up. But I think he'll be a very efficient player in the right circumstance. And clearly the Dolphins, my guess is they'll put him in the right circumstance, and he'll probably be playing sooner than later. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.